Hi guys, so one of my favorite things is recycling things into art. Here we're gonna use old magazines, you can use junk mail, anything, just make sure no one needs it anymore. We're gonna rip it into little pieces and sort it by color. And then you can create, for example, a bird. You can be inventive with it. The basic shape of a bird is pretty easy to recognize. And then you can just go crazy with colors and patterns. You could think about symmetry if you wanna make the bird symmetrical with the colors but you don't have to. You also might wanna pay attention to how we create the puppet. So we're gonna treat the tail as if it's one of the legs and we're gonna treat uh, the wings as the arms and one of the legs as the other leg. So watch the tutorial and see. So I start out by ripping some pages or sections of pages out of the magazine and tearing little pieces up. And I like to sort them by color and pattern. So this took quite a while. You should definitely pause the video and take your time ripping out pieces. I love finding bright, you know, strong colors and patterns. And I sorted them all out. And now we're sketching out a bird with its arms, or I should say its wings outstretched. We're gonna use those as the arms. So you can very lightly sketch something with this similar sort of pose, and then use your glue and start gluing on the pieces of paper, kind of like feathers. So I'm building out a pattern and you can just take inspiration from anywhere. You can look at beautiful exotic birds in nature books. You can take one thing from one bird and another thing from another bird. Get inspired by whatever colors you happen to find in your magazine. And again, take your time. You can pause this video and do this at your own pace. We've sped it up to make it easy to view. Now on the wings, I put some really big feathers and I leave part of them not glued down. So the top of the feather is kind of glued down and the bottom might be sort of sticking up off the paper. I think it gives it some extra dimension. And I made mine kind of symmetrical. So what's on the right side, I kind of mimic on the left side because birds in nature tend to be like that. You don't have to, it's just kind of an idea. I like to go with smaller feathers on the body and bigger, longer feathers on the wings. Again, kind of to mimic a bird's flight feathers. Just filling in some more feathers and then some bigger pieces for the legs and the feet. And some nice fancy feathers on the top of the head. The eye has a white part and a black part for the pupil. Now you can take a photo of this and bring it in to Puppet Master. Inside Puppet Master, tap Puppets and Add Puppet. You can snap a photo from here or import a photo if you already took one. This is a good time to pause the video, go and take a photo or import a photo of your project, and then come back here and continue. Now you've got your photo. Now we set it up in the app. Again, you should pause and slow down. The mouth is gonna be the beak. The chest is kind of the chest of the bird. The pelvis is gonna include one leg. And the arms are basically the wings. And now the tail is a leg. We're skipping the calf and foot. And we're just doing thighs. And placing the joints like so. There's our bird. Tomorrow, we will have a Diego party and everyone will go to the costumes to the Diego store and everyone will get their Show me the animated birds that you make, hashtag made with Puppet Master. 
If you're a kid, make sure and ask your parents or a teacher before sharing anything online.